we told our guys before the game, reminded them. Uh, I think I think the first thing I did, I should, we, we talked about the board in our third seat. And uh, a lot of hard work went through the regular season to be in this position to be able to host. And, uh, and we talked about in our first meeting, win or win in advance. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. We're taking this one game at a time. Uh, Loyola played with tremendous heart. They didn't want their season to end. Our guys didn't want our season to end as well. And, uh, you know, for us, we had a lot of guys that, that made plays down the stretch. And uh, we got a lot going off our defense. Uh, and we had trouble scoring in transition early, but as the game went, went on, I thought we did a great job of uh, finding the open guy and continued to run to our pace. And then um, this team has done a great job all year long in closing out uh, leads at the free throw line, and uh, that was a, a big key down the stretch. I think the other thing is that our, our balance. I mean, when that when that ball moves, five guys in double figures. Uh, I mean that that helps us, um, and and we got that ball spread around today, and um, a lot of guys contributed on um, on both ends of the floor. So uh, these two guys, uh, Doug and and Eli, uh, with their physical presence, uh, was a huge factor in um, in attacking uh, Gibbler and, and Abercamp and, and and getting them in foul trouble from the outset. Doug, you seem to get your get your offense going early. Talk about what you you able to see, what you able to do early in the, in the first half. Uh, I mean, I came in this game with a little more confidence than all the other games because the past few games I've been doing okay on the offensive end. So I mean, I tried to come out with the same confidence and use that you know, going at the, uh, those two big players because uh, I know that's something I didn't do the last time we played. Eli, did you think about this being your last game at Callahan for that coming to your focus? Yeah, it did not. And uh, I don't think that came to any of the players, especially me, knowing that, uh, that um, you know, one and done is it for me. And, uh, and honestly, I'm not ready to, uh, to um, stop playing. I feel like we have uh, at least 10 more games and there's 10 more wins than us, honestly. Good things seem to happen when you guys got the ball inside today, Ray. Uh, whether it be um, Doug driving to the basket, even Chase going to the basket. Um, seems like you've used your athleticism and, and perhaps your superior strength. A little bit of a game plan there? We wanted to make it an athletic game. Um, I thought they did a good job of, of really slowing us down uh, the first half with their 1-3-1. One, one. I thought we were tentative. The second half, uh, we said we wanted to get it, get it out, and uh, and get a push, and you know Doug just made some plays on his own, taking the ball uh, from him with with steals, and then Eli running the floor, uh, and just playing strong around the basket. Uh, we've been waiting on these two guys to have that combination for us, and you get to this time of the year. I mean, it becomes mental, but it also physical. Uh, and, and, and these guys really play, play physical uh, on both ends of the floor tonight. We hear about the two games against uh, Youngstown. Well, we know uh, Youngstown won. Uh, you know, we, we split. Uh, we had a huge win to get the secure to third seed just a, a week ago. Uh, so they've got uh, their four perimeter players. Uh, can really uh, score the ball uh, on the perimeter. They've got five guys that have scored 20 in a, in a ball game, so it tells you about their, their balance. Uh, they made 11 threes at their place. We've got to choke off the three, and uh, we've got to rebound the ball. Uh, that game also came down to the wire, and you know we, we made plays. Doug had a, he had a big second half for us, and Eli was a, a, a closer for us down the stretch. Uh, uh, at their place on, on Saturday. So quick turnaround. We're very familiar with them. They're familiar with us. And um, uh, we'll get to see them on a neutral court. Eli, you made your first 13 shots tonight, including free throws. What was working so well for you? Uh, you practice like you play. Our preparation. Um, that's one thing that coach is very big on is uh, 
you that you practice how you play. And, uh, and we go out to the practice, we do free throw drills, we do everything. And uh, and I believe that this came from my preparation and let alone my team uh, encouraging me throughout the, uh, throughout the game. Seemed comfortable out there, Eli. When you had the ball inside, it seemed like you, know, you weren't in a hurry. You weren't getting some happy feet. Not saying that you had happy feet before, but it seemed like that you were very confident and, and just were going with the flow. I got comfortable. Um, and that was one thing that uh, Coach pulled me to the side and talked about uh, after practice is that being comfortable, especially being able to handle the double team um, better. Um, just being comfortable, being patient with my moves. Um, find an open guy if it's one on one, and if I know I have a bucket, go ahead and attack the man. And uh, so I was real comfortable tonight. So we're we're just we're excited. I mean, uh, we hadn't talked a lot about uh, what we've gotten accomplished. But these guys want to continue their season. And, uh, and I think that's, you know, that kind of sums it up with us, uh, you know, with the effort. Uh, they made a run, they closed it, but, you know, guys stepped up and uh, showed great will with, with, with the steals that we had and forcing uh, uh, as many turnovers as we did uh, really, really quick to the ball tonight. So um, different challenge on Saturday, on Friday, that we're, that we're looking forward to. Uh, Got to be great on perimeter defense and, and transition defense. And, and uh, offensively, uh, be ready to attack zone. And um, as Eli said, uh, some, some of their double teams. What are you going to have to do better on Friday than you did tonight, right? We, we've got to, uh, we're, we're going to have to get back uh, in transition. Uh, they, they can score the ball uh, and, and guard their three point shooters. Uh, they're very good off of ball screens. We've got to play better off of ball screens. We. Uh, we were kind of hit and miss tonight, uh, but we got some good plays uh, as the game went on uh, to get stops off the ball screen. But it's going to come down to transition defense, ball screen defense, and rotations. So we really got to be a team that's going to, you know, really, really talk and communicate and uh, make multiple plays on the defensive end. On the offensive end, uh, we turned it over 11 times at their place. Uh, we need to be down, uh, you know, under 10. Uh, in, in, the, in this next ball game and uh, taking care of the ball and, and getting a good shot and playing to our strengths. And, um, you know, what, is, what, what we're seeing now is that we've got a balanced attack with uh, what these two guys are, are doing around the basket. Okay. All right. Thank you.